it's been a long time since I've done this. So anyway, hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. Most of you will probably be the first time watching my video because I have not posted in so long. So if this is a welcome back to you, shout outs to you. My name is Leah. Give this video a thumbs up because that helps me, honestly. I'm not going to give you any other reason other than it helps me out. That's it. Subscribe down below if you feel like it. I'm not going to pressure you and... Add me on social medias if you feel like it. No pressure. Yeah. Anyway, let's get to the video. If you have not watched the video of when I left and I moved to Florida with $100 in my account. This is two years later now. I never did an update because when I was at one year, I was just, things were just starting to move in my life. So I'm just going to say what has happened from then until now in a nutshell i don't recall if i said the story about how i decided to stay in florida in the video from before but recap i went on vacation with my friends we went down to miami and we would always book our flights one way and just wing it and then leave enough money for our flight back to new york and they all booked their flights and they're like oh leah it's time to book the flights so we can go home and I was like yeah 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 I'll book it I'll book it so now the day before they're like hey did you book your flight yet and I'm like oh shoot no I didn't still went out and everything forgot about it then the next day okay my camera said I had insufficient space so I deleted a bunch of old videos I was sitting here for like a year anyway um get to the airport I watched them go through security and everything and I did not book my flight and I sat there for like two hours contemplating my life and what the direction of my life was going in. I don't remember how old was I. I was like, what, 23? I was 22. And I just was like, you know what? I'm a spontaneous ass person, okay? Young and dumb. I'ma just stay here in Miami. My friends landed in New York, called me and they're like, hey, where you at? I was like, I'm still sitting in the airport. They're like, all this time, we flew back to New York and everything, and I was still sitting in the airport. Literally just like, this is the most self-reflection I had ever done ever in my life to that point. My friend goes, why don't you just call your sister to come pick you up? Why? I don't, I don't know why I did not think about my family. I literally was sitting there thinking about solely myself and self-reflecting on my life. I did not think about who did I have. I didn't think about my resources, nothing. I went to my father's, and I told them everything i told my stepmother and my father how i was feeling and i was like do you guys mind if i stay here for a while they were like yeah this is your house too and um a few days late like i literally went to the backyard after saying after telling them everything and i shed tears i was like really crying i think that same day i recorded that video actually a few days later my stepmother came to me and she was like i saw pure sadness in your eyes and she said that she was able to feel the depression through me weird but she's a very spiritually aware person so i was like wow that's scary <laughs> a few months down the road she says that she could literally see that i look a lot happier things were really bad for me for a little bit because i literally had no income your girl was broke okay i literally had like maybe 15 cents in my checkings account no money and no saving i had to, i didn't even have savings accounts open i had one credit card that was pretty much maxed out the limit wasn't that much but it was all bad and i had student loans to pay so my credit my credit score kind of tanked for a little bit because the girl wasn't paying shit i was like yo i'm a self-sufficient ass woman like i know how to make money i i know how to i i know i have skills i literally was doing graphic design freelance work for people I was still doing YouTubes. I mean, I wasn't YouTube videos. I wasn't really making much off AdSense revenue. I was making like maybe $100 a month. And so this, still to this day, that's kind of still the same case, whatever comes around. I was still getting Amazon affiliate link checks coming in every month. That was $50, $60. Wasn't much. Wasn't getting my student loans paid, that's for sure or just getting them paid so then when i started doing the freelance like the graphic designing work really awkward my neighbor's coming outside and he's probably gonna stare at me um i had took an eyelash course before i decided to do this whole thing and i was like bro why don't i just buy all the supplies i need for my for my lash business and bring my lash business down here to south florida boom <laughs> <laughs> your girl was back my stepmother owns a hair salon down in south florida so she you get, let me have a room in the back and i was doing lashes and it was it was decent money once again 
um so nothing that was going to be you know have me balling but it was enough so in the middle of me working at my stepmother's hair salon whether it was me doing lashes or me d helping her with her clients i met this one woman who i had a great conversation with it was one of her clients and she said to me hey you have at the end of our conversation like somewhere in the middle of our conversation she stopped me and she was like you have an amazing personality and you really know how to talk to people and she said you're very well spoken and she was just bigging me up and i was like you're so nice and she was like you should be a flight attendant and i was like what <laughs> this is something i've never thought about i applied for all four major airlines and I got CJOs, which is conditional job offers for all of them. The first face-to-face -face interview that I had, it was really crazy because it was going by fast. Like, my, my process was quick. I know people say that their process takes forever. Mine was really fast. I'll, I can do a whole video on that if you guys want, but basically, I got the job. <laughs> I got the job at the beginning of 2020, the new year. That's when I got my CJO for the company that was my first choice, which is where I'm at. And a few months later, I went to training. And I was like, okay, your girl's about to get some money. Started flying um, by summertime. Now we're at the one year mark of when I initially made that video. I started flying in June. I had made that whole transition in July. So already my life is already making a 90 degree. The only thing that came with the job that was difficult was the fact that I had to move from South Florida and I was the happiest in South Florida because palm trees is palm trees is sun those were the two things that really make me happy and I had to move they gave me options for bases and South Florida wasn't one of them so I was like okay I'll, I'll go back to New York came back to New York by now me and my mom had spoke things out kind of it was like I was walking on, she was walking on eggshells, I was walking on eggshells. Almost two years now, I've been back in New York. I hate it. <laughs> um, that's the only thing I don't like about my life at the moment. It's not that I don't like it because I'm born and raised here in New York. I just, because I travel so much now, I'm flight attendant now. Because I travel so much, I see so many different places and I'm just like, New York, baby, New York. This is home. This is where I'm born and raised. But I like being uncomfortable. Ever since that time, ever since like me being uncomfortable there, I like it. Full-time job, so your girl's making coin again. What really made my life have a three, a whole 180 instead of a 90 degree after the job, I didn't have any financial literacy, so I learned a lot about that. I learned a lot about taxes. I learned a lot about how to file taxes did that shit for the first time last year that shit was lit i learned a lot about savings open several savings accounts different types of savings accounts bringing my all my accounts back to current and whatnot um you know real adult type stuff all these big girl things that have set me up for now so i now have a new car i mean it's not that new anymore i've had her since december this is my dream car literally this was on my vision board like on my vision board, I had travel, I had passport with money, I've done that. I look back on that vision board, I'm just like, wow, vision boards are very powerful. The only thing that was on there that I did not achieve was my own place, and I was working on that for a while. Like, I went down to a certain city, and I, not Miami, not South Florida, is a different state. Um, I was looking at a bunch of places, and I was really like... About to sign for this place, about to well, about to apply for this place, and right when I called to apply, homegirl said someone leased it. I was big mad, okay? I was pissed. <laughs> I was mad. Okay, anyway. Um, instead, I was like, you know what? Instead of getting the place and then the car, let me just get the car. Let me just get the car I want. So here I am in my Mercedes-Benz E300 like this is what i wanted this is exactly what i wanted, this is what I wanted. I just love it. i'm not trying to like brag or anything but this is just it's corny and cheesy to say that i would have never thought that i would do it i mean of course like i i want it yeah it's something it's good to want things but to actually obtain them is and to actually do things to get there especially with the credit score i had <laughs> approval was not in sight okay okay yeah that's the update that's pretty much the update so i don't know what kind of content people would like to see 
over the last two years, I've been getting everybody saying being flight, flight attendant content, flight attendant vlogs, and I'm not good at that. Like, I will show you guys, you know what, let me just insert the clips of every single time I tried to do a flight attendant vlog, and I'll even date it for you, okay? I've been trying. I've tried for, I tried a lot of times. Let's just, let's just roll the tape. I'm in downtown LA. This is the first of, I don't know how many vlogs. <laughs> So my name is Leah. I'm actually gonna change out of my uniform, so. All right, so today I have three flights from LaGuardia to Detroit. And then Detroit, LaGuardia to Detroit, Detroit to Atlanta, Atlanta to Jacksonville. Boom, that's what I did. It is 6.08 a.m. As soon as I got in, I made a few phone calls, was waiting for my camera to charge, and I passed out. Ooh, okay. Face beat, but I just realized I got a tan when I was in Vegas this earlier in the week. My face and my neck and body is not the same color anymore, so I have to get more makeup. Yay! So I guess I'm sure everyone knows by now, the world is in a crazy state right now as we're going through this coronavirus pandemic. Back in Detroit, flew from Fort Myers where I was this morning. It's 7.37 and I still have two flights. Um, I don't get in to Vegas, which is my last, where I'm laying over tonight. Don't get there until 3 a.m. Eastern time, which is midnight their time. There's nothing open in the airports to eat, literally. I am buy all the food right now and everything is closed. Every airport that I've gone to so far, I've seen gates that just have planes parked at them because there's nowhere else to put them. I realized that if I keep waiting for myself to look perfect and for there to be sun outside, I'm never going to record this video. So I'm tired of waiting on me to do what I want to do. So I'm gonna show up on my iPhone I gotta be downstairs at 4.40 a.m. <laughs> struggle wear, struggle for what? Struggle vibe. So I, um, why did I just do that? That's gross. Ciao, anyway. Ugh. Hey, it's Leah in the back. Anyway. This music is not it. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've tried a lot, okay? And um, I can never get through a whole trip with me vlogging while I work. It's just not possible, it's just not doable. When I get braids and I start doing my individual lashes again, maybe, maybe I could do the whole thing. But at the same time, these early, I don't wanna complain about the job because I love my job, but it'd be difficult. I don't wanna say how there's probably a ton of vloggers. If anyone actually watches this video, because I know that who is she? I'm a whole different person. Like, I'm probably gonna wanna delete all videos from my channel and start fresh because I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna see myself like that from before. But yeah, that's the update. Your girl got a car. Uh, I'm about to move. I'm looking into places again. I am open to every state in this country. If you think your city is fire, let me know. Affordable but luxury I'm very picky but let me know if there's like certain type of content that people that you guys would like to see whoever watched this video thank you for watching it through if you cared or if this is your first time here hi this is leah <laughs> thank you for watching this whole video through please give this a thumbs up subscribe because that's helpful and it'll be great to actually have people who care to watch my stuff as I go through life and figure stuff out. There are a ton of videos I can do about what I've learned in these past two years about financial literacy, about credit, about adult things that no one tells you. Anyway, I'm rambling. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. What did I used to say? Stay true, stay you, and I'll see you in my next one. Oh, I miss saying that. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs>